What's up y'all? So today we are going to be breaking down a jersey swap commitment graphic made for Team Mellow AAU basketball team. So here we go. What I did first is I got a cutout of the player that I was making the graphic of and you know ideally you'd have a higher quality cutout. I usually try and find the best picture I can. This is like the best picture I was provided so kind of have to make it work but usually whenever you can't find a good quality picture it kind of takes down the quality look of the whole graphic so keep that in mind. Uh, the end product wasn't exactly what I was hoping for but we still got the job done so so what I did was I cut out uh, the original guy and then I found the jersey from the new team that he's going to be on and I put that in over top and then attempted to make his jersey look like that jersey. So I just used the uh, content aware fill tool to replace all of like the logos and numbers and stuff on his jersey with regular jersey and then I put the new jersey stuff over top of his jersey and used different settings to try and blend it in. So what I'm doing here is I've put a curves layer over top of his original jersey to make it look gray like the new jersey. And it looks pretty close to what the new jersey looks like, but it's not exactly right yet. And then I kind of like just kept tweaking that. But then, as you can see, the logos and the numbers, those are from the new jersey. So there's a little bit of uh, jersey color from the new jersey that I'm trying to, like, fade out or try and blend in with his jersey. So I tried a few different things. Always got to try the blending modes. Obviously, got to, you know, transform it to make it look like it's at the right spots on him. So here I'm cutting out the orange trim of the new jersey and then just using those sliders to just kind of take away some of like the um, lighter and darker areas so it just leaves the orange and so now I just cut out each of those and use the puppet warp tool to pin them onto his new jersey over top of the like white stripes of the old jersey so basically like he's still wearing the same jersey he was wearing but I just changed the color of the jersey that he was wearing to gray which is a pretty easy color change and then cut off the orange trim from the new jersey and put it on top of the old jersey so here I'm just tweaking the lighting and coloring of the new jersey and like making sure the orange is still bright because I have like some effects on it and stuff then I do the same thing again with the neck lining. I just cut off all of the, the outside parts and leave the orange trim around the neck. And then I just place that on top. So as you can see, it kind of goes down into like a triangle right there where there's that like crease and fold in his jersey. So that left room where there was still some like gray underneath. So I had to like paint his neck down a little bit further and then blend it in, which, you know, you might think is weird, but it ends up looking not too bad. You just kind of have to like blend it so it doesn't look super weird. So there I'm using a soft brush to kind of like brush away some of his neck. So that just kind of like takes away, that just kind of takes away the undershirt look. Uh, and then here I'm just trying to give it an overall look that's gonna look similar to the New Jersey. So there's like a regular picture of the New Jersey and I'm using it for comparison to like try and make this cutout and this guy's jersey look like the new jersey. So then I got the Team Mellow logo which is a pretty sick logo. I was like okay I'm definitely going to use this in the commitment graphic. And then I just had to figure out how I was going to use it in commitment graphic. It would have been cool to make it like a 3D thing but I didn't do that. I just kind of used it as it was like almost 3D but not really like a strong 3D feel. So I used the bottom part of it kind of like a piece of it as the bottom part to like put in front of him since I only had the top half of him anyway as a cutout I needed to find a good way to like hide you know like basically his waist down so I figured I'd use the logo and just kind of like some other elements to hide that so I put a gradient glow behind him and then I put an inner glow or an inner shadow that's set on like linear dodge around him so it looks like there's like a light coming from behind him and then I used the committed 3d text that I used in another graphic 
to just make this graphic pop a little bit more. And I kind of knew what I wanted. I think I wanted the, the trim to look red and then the inside to look gray, just like his jersey. So I just put different effects on the committed words to get that effect where I wanted. Kind of gives that, kind of has that grainy look, which I like. Then I just had to figure out some like placement of where I wanted his name and where I wanted, you know, Team Mellow or just what all like what all the words were that I want wanted on there. And I thought about doing like a logo lockup with Mellow and his name, but that just looked kind of thrown in there, not great. Then I wanted to add something to the background, so I added in like a uh, grain to the background just to give it some texture and to kind of match the the committed text. And then I decided I wanted to do the same thing I did in the other committed graphic that I had made and use like 3D cursive for his name and put that over top of the committed 3D text. So then I just warped that to kind of give it that bendy look. And then I ended up giving that black element in the front a gradient overlay just to give it more texture with a bevel on the edge of it so it looks like it's like an actual shape. And then I put the other part of the Mellow logo in the background as just like a bevel element basically like a very low intensity 3d element that's just like a background piece so super simple just needed something in the background because it looked kind of plain and boring to me and then the next thing to do is just to find the best place for the mellow logo and his name and trying to figure out you know what text all needs to be on there and then i put some curves layers over top of the element that i put in the background to kind of change the lighting on that to make it stand out from the background a little bit more. Then I found this texture to put over top of the background to give it a little just better looking texture than I thought I had. I had a grain over top, but it just wasn't really what I was hoping for. So I added in another texture that I found online and then I put his name in the right corner and Team Mellow and the logo in the left corner. And then I just go in and tweak the colors with a selective color, which is always good to do, just to kind of get it where you want it. And then I try to color look up just to see if that would give it an overall look. I ended up not using that, but I did end up using the glow technique that I use on a lot of graphics where you do apply image and then put a Gaussian blur on it. And then I just kind of like brushed around where I wanted the glow to be. So if you want to learn how to do more stuff like this, subscribe to the channel and check out my Patreon where you can find graphics like this. And if you want a jersey swap or a committed graphic, DM me and let's get to work.